guys, welcome back to Romany's Realm. I'm Romany and I've got another unboxing for you. This is from Munch Pack. Now, I did not purchase this one. They asked me if I would like to have a box and review it. This is another snack box. It is out of LA and I'm not sure about the pricing. I'll have to put the pricing down below in the description because I forgot to look it up because I didn't pay for it. So it didn't occur to me to go and look it up. They asked me on the Friday if I would like it and it arrived on the Tuesday. So it, it arrived really fast and it seems quite heavy and sturdy. For those of you who prefer very healthy snacks, I've got a healthy one coming up next week. Uh, but this one I believe is yummy snacks proper snacks let's have a look i rather like the box that's kind of cool okay so my box was put together with love by ryan thank you ryan follow us on snapchat there's your snapchat munch pack snacks to get sneak peeks of new snacks and hang out with the munch pack team behind the scenes oh that's kind of cool i like that idea uh, snack scanner app now available so you can scan your barcodes save your favorites and purchase more of them like that cool again also munchpack.com munchpack snacks on twitter and munchpack on facebook app is iphone and android the wrapping interesting Ooh lots of snacks okay <laughs> this looks like my kind of box this looks mostly salty kind of savory snacks which is my kind of thing let's have a look cow tails crispy m crispy rice with cow tails bits utterly delicious <laughs> see what they did there 152 calories one serving doesn't have any information on you know whether it's good for you or anything it's just got the standard nutritional things four grams of fat 14 grams of sugar that's quite high protein too so it's it's basically just a cereal bar isn't it cow tails bits what are cow tails Oh, marshmallow okay and it is an american snack so pretty much it's going to have cornstarch gelatin and corn syrup yep corn syrup glucose fructose sugar water gelatin modified cornstarch crisp rice uh rice krispies for those of us who live in the uk and lots of other stuff it does have palm oil in it hmm so those of you who are not into that kind of stuff, it's, no, it's, it's in absolutely no way is it um, PC. <laughs> it is not PC cereal bar. But I kind of like the cow. He's kind of cool. Okay, what else have we got? Pepero. These look like the um, pokoi. Is that what they're called? Oh, you know what I mean, don't you? The little Japanese snacks with the, the chocolate on. Only these are filled with chocolate a chocolate filled biscuit Korea's number one brand Lottie product name Lottie nude pepero chocolate filled biscuit stick pretty high in fat sugar salts pretty actually pretty high in everything <laughs> yeah it's not a healthy snack but it's from Korea so it, it, they generally don't have healthy snacks they're just savory snacks but i do like them so that will be fine what else have we got this looks russian five a day healthy it's got healthy things it's got a vegetable mm, okay ah assorted brittle almonds with fructose oh now that sounds nice peanut kernel treacle fructose sesame popped rice kernel Sunflower kernels, hazelnut kernels and almond kernels contains peanuts and tree nuts. So it's um, 
know, peanut brittle basically but with different nuts and things in it primarily almonds very nice i like peanut brittle so i'm sure i'll like almond brittle because i like almonds as well mm -mm. see savory snacks ketchup slanty these kind of look like um fusilli pasta is it fusilli or penne i can't remember the little tube ones that are cut on corners but they're ketchup flavor so you can't really go wrong with that um doesn't say what the country of origin is or anything they're just by colson's oh pakistan there you go oh now mandy sent me some indian snacks before and they were really nice they were very savory very spicy and i really enjoyed them they were very much like bombay mix but they had different flavorings than just the bombay mix so these should be quite nice i like ketchup so yep marvellous i'm going to enjoy that crikey there's a lot in here this is licorice by the look of it or is it a, a, a roller it's some kind of roller candy oh blue raspberry and it's um, sour candy Mm-mm. extra sour natural fruit juice and fat free oh yeah it's like uber sugar basically but it's yes yeah, just a fruit roll candy very nice i love these i'm running out of one side to put things on what else have i got another lotty one it's look like waffles be my soul mate be my waffle mate oh i think they are waffles okay more palm oil because korea doesn't actually say anywhere what they are but i would say They've got honey and they've got waffles. So I would say they were honey waffles. I would think they're wrapped. So let's have a... Actually, I'm going to open one of these because... I'll probably have one when we finished filming. Oh, they're very thin. I expected them to be chunky like the Belgian waffles. They're almost like biscuits. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. For those of you who have had the Belgian waffle biscuits that you get in Belgium, obviously, and the Netherlands and around that area, and they have the brown sugar all over and they're crunchy. It's like that but without the brown sugar. Oh, those are lovely. And they are honey flavoured as well. And there's three in a pack. Ooh. Yes, I like those. Apparently I like Korean snacks. <laughs> what else have we got? Milk caramel. Can't go wrong with that, really. Another Lottie brand. Oh, are these all Lottie? Oh, that's Lottie. No, they're not all Lottie, but several of them are. Milk caramel. Looks like it might be some kind of toffee fudge caramel type thing with something around it. Not entirely sure again doesn't say what it is in english but i would say it was like a piece a chunk of caramel possibly with chocolate on it i can't really tell what's on the outside of it but it's maybe fudgy looking oh let's just open it and have a look shall we <laughs> i don't like these unboxing videos where you unbox everything ah but of course being korean everything's individually wrapped isn't it milk caramel so tiny okay it's hard caramel it's like toffee mmm tastes like Cornish fudge mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna have to wait till I finish it now because it's gonna get caught on my teeth okay I've rid myself of my toffee <laughs> That was very chewy, which did get a little bit stuck around my teeth, but it was lovely. It's so, I don't know, it's so naturally sweet tasting, like like Devonshire co toffee, where it's like got cream in it. It's very, very milky. It's sweet without being sugary. So it's very nice. Like you could have one of those and not want another one for hours. 
or maybe that's just me because I'm not particularly into sweet things. Okay, this one is Cereal Chocos. I've had these before. These are really nice. So I'm not going to open this one. These are like um, kind of crispy shell type and um, chocolate filled. Mm -mm. Love those. Apparently I'm a Lottie girl. I like the Lottie snacks. So um, that's quite handy because I have a, a Korean pen pal. <laughs> laser pop projector candy. It's not a real laser apparently but it is a safe red light source. Avoid direct eye contact. This product contains no gl glass parts. Candy does not come in contact with the light source. Battery powered device do not disassemble. Batteries may cause serious injury if swallowed. So it's not a child's candy. Not for children under three years. Cherry flavoured. So, oh, <laughs> it's got a light on it. Look, you probably can't see that very well, but yeah, it's got laser light. And it's got, um, I think it's like one of those candy pop things. I can't actually see how to open it at the moment, but it looks like one of those um, lollipop ring type things. And the colour is coming up through the candy itself. That's kind of cool. I like that. I'm a big kid, basically. Cool. I like that. I'll play with that. And last but not least, we have Hai Tai Choco Kit Panda Make Your Own Chocolate. Uh-huh. Okay. How to make your Choco Kit Panda. Lay down panda biscuit, squeeze chocolate tube and spread on the panda. Cover with the other side of the panda biscuit. Keep them in the refrigerator for 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, so they're um, jammy dodgers, but with chocolate and pandas. All the Americans are going, what? What's the jammy dodger? Oh, it's all closed up again. Okay, I'm going to open it. <laughs> they're tiny ones, so they were... Ugh, yeah. have a look. So they're basically little mini animal type things. You know, the front and back of a panda. So there's your panda face. Hello Miss Maddie. And you put your chocolate bit in the middle. Where's the chocolate bit? Oh there's the chocolate sauce. Yep, it's just chocolate sauce on a biscuit. Fair enough. You think even I can do that? Let's try another panda's. Oh, they're nice. Very plain, quite dry. That's the kind of um, snacks I like. Plain and dry. So, that's the Munch Pack box. I can't remember if they sent me a code for you to get one. I will double check. And if I do have a code, I'll put it in the link down below. Because obviously, I haven't looked up the actual price of this one. But it's, assuming it's not extortionate, it's got quite a nice range of candy. And it's all, or well, nearly all, stuff that is uh, savoury rather than sweet. The sweetest thing there is that. And obviously this, which is fruit flavoured. But uh, lots of these quite savoury snacks from Lottie, which I love. And uh, there you go. There is your thing if you want to. I don't know if it works on screen. See if you can do it with your camera to follow on Snapchat and uh, see what they do. Hmm, very nice. So there you go. That is the Munch Pack subscription box from munchpack.com.